Okay, what's up guys? A quick video, um, really straightforward, but I'm gonna show you basically how to set up a new RuneScape Classic server using OpenRSC. Regardless of what your intent is, if you just wanna you know, play around in single player, work on the game, like submit bug fixes, or if you just want to create your own community, basically this blog post is going to help you with that. This is going to be in the description. There will be a link to visit it. And basically this blog post has everything you need. It's not really hard to set up the server itself, and there are two main ways to do it. But regardless of which one you do, obviously you need Java, right? <laughs> we need Java to play RSC. Uh, you need the, the JDK, just a simple download and install. You're gonna need the GitHub account uh, if you wish to modify or contribute to OpenRC. I would just suggest you get one anyway, it's free. You're gonna need Git for Windows. You're gonna need the, obviously, the OpenRC code uh, base. This guide was written assuming that you're using Windows. So we don't have a guide for Linux or Mac right now, but I think the, the setup should be very similar. So like I said, there are two approaches. Uh, there's approach number one is the easiest, and even if you think you want it, you wanna only do approach number two, I just suggest that you start with approach number one because it's the easiest way to find out, hey, are there any environmental factors that might prevent you from running the server today? Once you get the, all these prereqs out of the way, you're gonna wanna go down here. Pretty simple, you just you you just run a command file and basically it takes care of the database, the server, and the client. It sets it all up for you. But if you do run into issues with this, um, you can look at the troubleshooting section. Some common issues are if you have Docker, you wanna make sure that's not running. If you've installed MariaDB in the past, you wanna make sure that uh, the service is not running. For approach number two, it's very different, but it's not a ton more work. There are a few more applications you need. So I put in detail all the setup instructions you need. This should get you going. So um, just read through this very carefully and make sure you're setting things up as described. And if something is not straightforward, then please let me know and I'll update this blog post. One thing you may get with either approach, I believe, is you may get unrecognized logging code. This can happen sometimes if the MariaDB SQL connection is sleeping, which usually doesn't happen on like production servers. Like this would never happen on OpenRSC, I don't think. Um, but it only happens because the, the connection to the database is sleeping and you were the first person to try to connect to it at, since it started sleeping. Once you've figured out how to start the server and the client, um, now you have the option to host your server. And so most people just do this off their own computers. You could just go with a dedicated hosting provider, but it's going to cost money, obviously, and maybe you don't want to spend money. <laughs> this will go over port forwarding and stuff like that. So port forwarding, you're going to have to forward the uh, ports for OpenRC in order for other people to get into your game server. So basically, once you port forward, update the IP, recompile everything, and then it comes to distributing a client. So you have two options. If you want to use the default OpenRC client that you generate through and compile, perfectly fine. You can share that with people. You can also use RSC+. Keep in mind that the, the base client that you are regenerating with and compile is the closest to your version of the game. It's the source of truth. So when you're checking for bugs and functionality and issues and stuff, it's best to check uh, the, the default client that you generate, not RSC+. And this step here is really just if you forked the OpenRSC repository. Now before you click this, or you might want to copy the link and change it because you see it says your GitHub account name. You're supposed to obviously replace that with whatever your GitHub account name is. This basically starts a new PR so that you can pull in all the changes from OpenRSC. I recommend you do this every once in a while, like every few weeks or something. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to post this, the link to this blog post in the description. And if anything changes, I will definitely change it. Let me know if you have any questions, you know, post a comment on the video or talk in the OpenRC Discord and uh, I'm sure everybody will be glad to help you. So until next time.